going on with my people. Have another video in a minute. You know, Sunday nigga, we have a little update on what's new. Um, the fig orchard growing strong. These are all my new varieties that I added this year. Um, I bought twenty dollar sleeves from Green Acres, and I just grafted onto them. Um, my rooting success is never the best, but we're getting better. I promise. Like those right there are all rooted. Well, we'll set that one to the left in the middle. That's the air layer. That wasn't that that great. Had a few roots, and you know I brought it back. But yeah, let me just uh, give y'all a little tour. Ooh, sanguinato. I just grafted this guy. Maybe what? Do you, what do you, uh, this one's sanguinato. Actually, it's not even sanguinato. It's a sang a a sangu. From Harley. I just grabbed those last week. They're doing good. Uh, Rosalino from Harvey also. Cleft grafts all day. I did a few bud chips, but you know it was kind of hard. A Sangue, Quintana, Liha from Harvey. Showing signs and everything's greening up, but I don't know about this one. Uh, Madeira Island Black. This one's a mulberry, Persian mulberry on a Morris Niagara rootstock. This one is Sanguinato. Look at that, baby. She doing good. Okay, so I got a few, a few nice rare things I did. Um, Colta Dom Ramada, and then I grafted a uh, Borgidor Negra Ramada. So man, when this tree, and I also grabbed, I did a bud chip on a panache, but it doesn't look, it doesn't look too good. It was too thick. But let's see. I'm very excited about this tree right here. This tree is gonna be a beauty. Great addition to my collection. And then over here, I got uh, another graft I did. Uh, Sal Miguel Roxo, which is supposed to be the Zor's Dark. And then I got a Col de Dom Blanc right there. And then right there, you see it? Pushing on a fig too. I think this is a pretty rare one. I don't see what it is. But over here I have Madeira Island Black, another one. And then I grafted a Colton Don Blanc right here. And it looks like it's hitting. So that's gonna be a good one. Violet Pelican. This one is Palmata Hybrid. The D C something 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 from Harvey. Was out of that red bark and that red leaves. Um, Mara Basilica Sica. Ooh, I heard good things about this one. I heard Amy told me this one's good. It's an early one, too. Moro de Caneva. This one's been just stuck. I hasn't been seeing a lot of action. I don't know what's going on. Been leaking, look at all that sap. It's probably because I cut it wrong. <laughs> that water's building up right there. But let's pray for that one. And then, Quartara Malaha. This one's supposed to be good. It's like a yellow, old, old fig from someone's uh, family heirloom, basically. Um. I got Enchari Preto. This is a smear that's supposed to be so good. Well, it looks good. Um, this is Long Doubt. So is this one right here. Long Doubt, doing good. I rooted all these. And then um, some unknowns. I really like their figs, and you know, I just I took them. 
They're mostly with the ones that I got from Harvey I grafted. Did a lot of grafting with them. And then I got a lot more that I'm, I'm trying to propagate. Uh, the outside, you know, has been getting in the 70s, uh, low 45. So I'm trying my success with the outside propagation. I'm gonna do a few rounds. See, I got, uh, I got a lot more containers to go. Damn. But yeah, you guys, this is uh, the new additions and plus what I'm trying to root and what I did root and succeeded because I got some mulberries right there. But uh, stay tuned for some more videos on how they they come in. Uh, that's the regular orchard. Everything's coming into place. Mulberries this season. Got all these mulberries right there. Job with the cabas. Look at that. It's a plenty of farm over there. Some other stuff too. You'll hear more about it. All right, y'all. Talk to y'all later. Peace.